Hello everybody. I am Dr. Srikant Shetty, Senior Consultant and Head of Cardiology at Sakura World Hospital. A common thread between diabetes and coronary artery disease is what we call metabolic syndrome or insulin resistance. Interestingly, patients who have pre-diabetes or insulin resistance, in them the blood vessel disease starts evolving. This is because insulin is essentially atherogenic. That means the effect of insulin on the blood vessels is to promote development of cholesterol plaques. So don't be surprised if somebody comes first with a heart attack and then gets identified to be having diabetes. The other peripheral markers of insulin resistance are pigmentation of the skin, particularly around the forehead and the nape of the neck or in the axilla in the armpits or development of skin tags. So if you notice that one is having increasing weight and has developed new pigmentations and skin tags, it is a marker of what we call insulin resistance. Such a person, even if not diabetic currently, is at a high risk of developing diabetes in the future. The other abnormalities that you will see in these patients with the so-called abdominal obesity or metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, is that they will have elevated triglycerides, low levels of HDL, which is the good cholesterol, elevated uric acid and gout, and may also have a higher predilection to develop high blood pressure. The best way to prevent insulin resistance is to have a very active lifestyle from childhood itself and to promote healthy food habits in our children. If the child consumes a food that is rich in fiber and low on carbohydrates, avoid junk food, and is physically very active, then you prevent childhood obesity. Preventing childhood obesity helps prevents insulin resistance and therefore prevents diabetes and therefore prevents coronary artery disease. So preventing insulin resistance is one of the best ways to prevent coronary artery disease. Thank you.